All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, uh, title of this video is, um, what is it? All Hell is, is About to Break Loose. Okay, which that's, that's the truth, man. Okay. Um, all hell is about to break loose, not only in America, but all around the world, okay? And, um, it's, it's going to be catered towards, you know, uh, the dollar bill collapsing, um, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the poor of the world. Y'all going to get caught up in the, um, the, the, the craziness out here, Okay? Because um, we don't, uh, we're not the, the ones who's in charge of what's about to, to, to come on the world, okay? The so-called white man is um, is written in, um, what is that, the uh, book of Job, uh, book of Job, let me get that, 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Okay, so the so-called white man, according to the Bible, which they're known as uh, Edomites, okay, they're the wicked, okay, and they, they control the whole entire world, okay, and one of the ways that they uh, <coughs> control it is through their, uh, that, 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 that financial, you know, and um, their uh, military might, right. okay, but um, we coming upon those times where, you know, you would think that it's, you know, the only the only way you see it on, on the movies, you know? Right. But those those movies are going to come true because a lot of these movies get their uh, truth or, or their uh, scripts from the Bible. Right. Okay? But you got anything you want to say? Or, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you know? being as though the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, you know, the Esau's not going to warn you about the things that come. The men of the Lord are here to warn you people. So you stuck on Esau's media when... You know, media word media goes into the word medium, so they putting a spell on you people because you watching a controlled uh, form of media. You know, we are controlled by the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemuel Shah, but the thing is, we bringing up the truth of everything. So when that time come, you people not going to be prepared. You want that Daniel twelve? Yeah, you can get that. Uh, this is Daniel twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of our people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. And that's talking about the lack, okay? Everybody is not meant to be saved, okay? Um, which that's a lot that these uh, pastors be uh, teaching in the church. You know, a lot of these pastors okay, are going to um, uh, get killed from their congregation, man. You know, uh, the brother just posted a video, uh, you know, Karat is about, uh, on Defender for the Truth, um, his channel, about a, um, a pastor getting kicked out of his own church. Damn. You know? So, uh, a lot of these pastors, their congregation is going to turn on them, you know, a lot of it's because they've been telling them lies, you know. But uh, we understand through the uh, the scriptures, okay. Um, let me get that. The book of um, Acts, the fourteenth chapter, and uh, the the twenty second um, verse. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue. <clears throat> And exhorting them to continue Call you right back. in Call the you faith. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Samuel Shah. Okay? So, uh, let me get that word tribulation if you got anything, God. Yeah, kind of. Um, you know, one of the you made a mention of the brother put the video about the 
the pastor being escorted out of his church. You know, one of the lies that they put on the people is that they save. You know, they, they make people feel safe when they come to new churches. When all actuality, you know, Matthew 24, 13 say, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you people aren't saved yet, but you in these churches as if it's a safe place. You know, you got to show an example that the Lord is not in these churches by that church shoot you had. You know, you just yeah. had a recent synagogue shoot. Okay, showing you that the Most High is in neither of those synagogues, man. They are uh, the synagogues of Satan. You know, both of them. You know, that scripture is speaking mainly on uh, um, Amalek. You know, these fake Jews, but it also goes for you Israelites who are in these fake synagogues, man. These right. fake places of worship, because the Lord is not in neither. Uh, the word tribulation, it means a cause of great trouble or suffering. <laughs> it says uh, suffering, which I'm going to get that word, okay? Um, uh, suffering, distress, trouble. Misery, uh, wretchedness, but uh, you know, one another, um, like when people say ratchet, okay, that's that's where the word wretched come from, okay. It says, uh, unhappiness because a lot of that dollar bill, when that dollar bill collapses, that's going to make a lot of people unhappy, right? Okay, it says, uh, sadness, heartache, whoa, oh, destruction. They say that in the definition, Dang. yeah. Um, because we understand that we're going to have to go through through these miserable times, right? You know, in order to in, in order to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by some Yahweh. It says grief, sorrow, pain, anguish, agony, travail. And you know, we pretty much going through those things right now. But these people, they 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 don't see that they're going through that. They think they're in a good case because they could wake up, they could go to the ATM, withdraw some money. Going to have a nice day, but meanwhile, us men of the Lord, we we feeling all those all those words, oh, pretty much all those that He just brought out those synonyms for the word tribulation, you know. But what we trying to escape is that woke, that destruction and stuff. Yeah, and and the thing is, <clears throat> what the scriptures say, um, uh, one one of the, the the synonyms is burdens, right? Like like we we understand that we have a burden on every one of us have a, a burden, you know. That we have, we have to, uh, to 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 carry, right. you know. But the scriptures also say, "Bear ye one another's burdens," right. you know. So so when that that hell breaks loose, you know, if a brother may be in a situation where he may not uh, be able to, to to have a decent spot to to, to stay in, right? Mm -hmm. But you may have a, a decent spot, right? That's a part of bearing one another's burdens, man. Right. You know, and there's the um. Uh, the scriptures also say, as you see the day approaching, you know what I'm saying? Be more willing to, to, to get up with, with brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's saying be a, a, a point where brothers, you know, you've been in the camp for a, a, a while and brothers don't know where each other live at. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what's going on with brothers. Right. You know, you just showing up to camp on Saturdays. You know? And, and that's it be, man. That's a good point because you will come to a time where you can be looking around and would love to hear the voice of a, or see a brother. And, and you know, we're going to be somewhere as pilgrims, you know, tucked off somewhere, man. The Lord going to have, you know, he's going to have us in different parts of the, of the world or country. Who knows? We don't know how what's going to happen in that day. All we know is that what's written and getting prepared for it when it does. So uh -huh. it's a good thing to get up with brothers because you know, you never know when the last time you're going to see one when that time comes. Come <clears throat> but um, you got a scripture? Yeah, it's a little bit on that day. And it said, uh, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. And that 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 that's talking about the the confusion, you know, what I'm saying that that people are uh, are in right now. Okay, because a lot of people are confused and, you know, they basically live their life as if, you know, the Lord doesn't exist. Right. You know? But, you know, when we, when, when you come into this truth, you realize that the Lord is the one who first and foremost controls everything. You know? So, so it's our duty as a man, with, and that's what the scriptures say, to fear, fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. 
you know? So, so we understand we got to do that because uh, the Lord, if he's in control of everything, we don't want to, we don't want to um, fall into uh, the, the hands of the Lord because that's a terrible thing, man. Okay. Because when, when the Lord brings this destruction, ain't nobody going to be able to hold them back, man. Right. Okay. Which that's, that's indignation, that righteous anger. You know, you can't tell the Lord, hey, okay, the missiles is being shot. And turn the missiles back around, okay? Or the dollar bill uh, done collapse. Hey, Lord, you know, can we get another day? Yeah, right. You ain't gonna be able to. You ain't gonna be able to do that, man, because uh, the Lord is about to bring something better onto this planet, right? Okay, but before He does that, all hell has to break loose in America. And even that is a show of mercy, because you want to come back in the kingdom as children, you know? So why, why suffer that? Why have to go through that? When you got the chance at the doors of mercy right now, you still got a fighting chance to get it right. Yeah. And it says, um, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Yeah, and, and, and some people want to, um, you know, come back as children in the, um, the kingdom and they're, uh, they're going to realize that they was living a lot their whole life. You know, but... Before they that that part even comes, okay. If you can get that Jeremiah thirty and seven, God. right? We're we're coming upon times where um, shit about to get real out here, man. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna also get that um, uh, second Ezra, <coughs> the fifteenth and the sixteenth verse. I mean, you probably you, I see you had something right there. Uh, which which cap? Second. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. But we're uh sixteen uh is good. You know, we probably get 16. 15 and 16? Yes, yeah, get 16. You want that first or No, get Jeremiah. Sec, yeah, Jeremiah. Was it 5 and 14? No, 30, 30 and 7. 30 and 7. Right. It's Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, uh, <clears throat> Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah. Um, and and that, that could happen at any moment, man. Okay? That could happen at any moment. You have um, this, um, what is it, uh, Black Friday about to come up. Okay? Yeah. You got um, uh, the pestilences and stuff. You know? That, that like, I seen on that, um, I got to keep on saying that, that uh, video game... Um, the division, yeah, you know, yeah, they yeah. put that, they put the, um, the, uh, disease on the dollar bill, okay, and, and during the Black Friday, you know, they had it in the, in the game, you know, the beginning part of the game, where people was going to the store, you know, Black Friday, they, you know, people touch your money, that money is being exchanged. Yeah, that's like an example from that movie Contagion, you know, everything's being passed hand to hand, and that's a good way to, to get a, uh, a, a, a pestilence of it. Yeah. And then you got people that that's on the um, public transportation, mm -hmm. yep. okay? They they touching all the the, the the rails. You don't know what the fuck. Nigga probably dug up his nose. You I know, niggas. I, 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 so I, if I can say that, no, niggas boy, niggas be giving giving out hand files and shit. Yep. You don't know what the fuck that nigga done did with his with his hands. Yeah. And you by, know. By me driving in public transportation, I don't watch people purposely wipe boogies on handrails, man. These people out here are uh, trifling, man. Okay? And and those trifling motherfuckers, <laughs> shit, when shit get real, man, they go, you're going to see just how trifling they are, man. Yeah. You know? How real trifling, that could be your 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 your, your, your mother. Yeah. Could be your brother or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know? That, that, those, because when hard times come, hey, one of the, 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 the synonyms for tribulation was misery. Okay, the scriptures talk about misery loves company. Right. You know, you could have you could have worked hard to, to 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 get some type of food or whatever, right? And you 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 may live with your family and stuff like that, right? And you may have it to where you put stuff in your because people used to do that when I was in my uh you know living with my people's back in the day, right? They would go uh go to the store and 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 get food just for them. 
That's some st- yeah, stingy shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> you got a house full of people. Though. You got a house full of people just have food just for them. Right. It's, but but when 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 it's time for everybody to eat, they there. They there. And they hoard. They done hoard and even smash they shit. Yeah. <laughs> but that those <laughs> those times are gonna be reversed, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> those people that 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 ate. Right, they gonna look at your shit and be like, yo, like, you gotta come up with something, man. Or they gonna look at him like on a cartoon, he gonna look like a male. Yeah. So, so, we coming upon times, man, where, when, when, when that, when that shit get, get real, what are you gonna do, man? Okay? What are you gonna do? Are you going, cause some people, they got that mindset, man, I, I've been through the struggle anyway. I ain't had, I, I ain't had money growing up. You know, you see a nigga, a nigga, a nigga already struggling right now. So, so going through the struggle in the future, it ain't gonna be nothing to the nigga, to a nigga. Right. You know, cause nigga already living their life like 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 a savage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they already savage and savage. Yeah. Right, man. Niggas already out here on the run, got warrants and shit. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. But you got it out. But these times are gonna be times that, you know, never known a man, man. Keep going with Jeremiah. Um, now you got that uh second Ezra. Yeah. Get sixteen. Um, get the the second. No, get 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 yeah, get the second verse. Get sixteen and two. Yeah. Come on, this second Ezra sixteen and two. Uh, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry. Yeah, because if you have uh children, right. <clears throat> You you got you gotta find out how you gonna feed the children. You know. Yeah. Um, your children gonna be crying and shit. You know. Daddy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. Right. And if you got a lot of children, whew, <laughs> come on, man. All the lunchables gone. Yeah, all the lunchables gone. Hey, you you the father ain't around. You a single mother. Right. What the fuck you gonna do? Now, a lot of these women going to go, go, go get that chip, man. Yeah. They're going to barter their children off. They, 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 that's what they be doing. They yeah. have sex with my uh, my daughter, you know, um, and, and give me something. Right. You, got, you can fuck my daughter. Right. Ch- mothers be having their daughters in sex rings and shit. Yep. You got it out. God, it says, for your destruction is that. No, uh, uh, wait, it said, and be sorry. Oh, Con, yeah, and be sorry. Yeah, be sorrowful, man. Okay, because a lot of these, when people go through that stuff, they, it ain't gonna be um, uh, uh, like, oh, this is coming from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna turn back, you know, to to the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. You know, um, uh, if they will acknowledge their their transgressions, man, and pray unto me, you know, then I'll forgive them. But these people they don't want they don't want to um, admit that they that they went off, right. you know, according to the Lord. Well, go ahead. God, um, I'm bringing up this scripture on the comment board. Uh, Deuteronomy, Tamiyah uh, Yamaha. It's Deuteronomy 28:5. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children, whom he shall eat, because he have nothing left in him in the siege and in the straightness where wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Yeah, because the um so called white man is gonna have people, you know, if you don't take that chip, you know, you don't go to the FEMA camps, you're gonna be uh basically living off the grid. Okay? And um, you know, surviving out here, man. And if you out here um uh got that survival mentality, then you got to worry about the martial law and these troops out here being out here on these streets, man. Right. Okay, and, and controlling the goods, okay, in these these uh, neighborhoods, man. Okay? So, so you're going to have to, to, to worry about, you know, about, uh, you know, the, the stress that's out here. Because, you know, like, you ain't going to be able to go to, to, to Sam's Club First off, when when shit get get uh get uh real, right? Those be the main stores that get hit up, man. Yep. 
big ones, Costco's, <laughs> Walmart's, BJ's. Yeah. Ain't gonna be shit up in them stores, man. Yep. You know? Ain't gonna be nothing up in there. Yeah, they showed you that with, uh, what was that, Batman? They showed you that on fucking Black Friday Black and Friday, shit. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, which yeah, that's yeah, the perfect yeah. time to, like, uh, everybody done brought some shit for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. You know, and then next thing you know, Black Friday come and ain't nothing, ain't nothing around, man. And then, uh, don't, don't get fucking, um, uh, what is it, uh, Christmas, right? You know, don't forget, don't forget that, right? And then, then let let a let a a a, a winter storm happen. Hey, and another, oh, shit, uh, gonna be real. Oh no, and I'm gonna say another way that uh, you can pass that pessimism around. A lot of people congregate together on New Year's. You got back to back to back wicked ass gatherings, holidays of people, where it'll be perfect time for Esau to kick something off. I got a quick precept. Go ahead. Second Ezra sixteen. And I'm gonna start at 18. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna start at 17. As you know, we're gonna get into seeing himself in his lot in this day and time. And it said, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. Yeah, we don't never know what a day may bring, man. Okay, you may have never killed somebody, you know, in your life. You may have to be it may be a time where you have to put somebody to death, man. Yeah. Fuck somebody yeah. up, man. And that's why I mean this brother said before, like, it wouldn't even be cool to get into a fight now because you really gonna wanna put a motherfucker to death, man. But we ain't in them times, but you're gonna be in a time where you might actually have to do that. God. It says the beginning And of it war- might be your family members too. God. You know, go ahead. It says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You know, let me go into that word amendment. You know, it's, you know he's going to send these things as scourges. Okay, this is amendment. From Dix, from uh, Merriam Webster. Hmm. Uh, Yeah, this is a amendment from the Merriam Webster. And it says uh, the act of amending something, correction. Okay. Um, and pretty much the Lord is going to send those things to correct the disorder that's in this place. Okay. Because, uh, you know, Jake, you know, Jake in America, let's, let's say Jake in America, they haven't been through a lot yet. They've been in pretty much a safe case. They never seen what it's like to live in a third world country. The closest to a third world country, JC on this side, is just black on black or Latino on Latino or native on native crime within their own neighborhoods and barrios or whatever. But, you know, this gonna be a time where, you know, they wanna see what it's really like to be at war. Okay. And you won't be, and, and what it is, this country's gonna be at war with the king of terrors, man, the Lord, man. He's yeah. gonna bring something. <clears throat> To this place that's never been seen. I seen something that said um, your your government um, people shouldn't fear the government. Your gov- the government should fear the people. The people. Yeah. You know, and, and we're living in a, a system where the government <laughs> they don't fear you niggas, man. Sure don't. They, they they the ones who supply you with everything, man. Right. You know. So so what they 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 looking at like when when y'all when when y'all try to fight back, that, that shit, uh, you, the, the, what is it, the, uh, you bite in the hand that feeds you, man. Right. You know, but you can get that second address. Uh, which one, 15? 16. 16. 16. And three. Yeah, uh, the second address, 16 and three. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Yeah, uh, the government, right? They got these, uh, drones, right? <laughs> They 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 they, yeah. they have weapons that cater towards if if shit get real, man. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. They got. That's a, why they got riot shields and all that. Type. You got. Yeah, they got that microwave uh, truck. You know that uh, I forget what it's called, but 
the, the truck would be outside of his house and send a, a radioactive signal and he'd feel like his skin melted. Yeah. So, the, the, the government don't fear you people, man. Okay, and that's one of the reasons why people go go try to side with the government. They're going to say war to you that go see, go to Egypt for help. You know, because their horses are stronger and so on and so forth. Right? But y'all not y'all don't look onto the holy one, man. Yeah. The holy one of Israel. Yeah, they don't willfully go into them camps, man. Yeah. The, them, them, the government, you know, consider a fucking mosquito your way, man, and, and, and inject you with some bullshit, man. Yeah. You know? So, you know, the government ain't nothing to be played with in in, uh, in America, man. Okay? But go ahead. Uh, continuing on, it says, verse 4, A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Uh, and, and a lot of these, the, the, the first off, these plagues that are about to come, the pestilences, you know, they're man-made, man. Yep. You know, that. The, the, you have the CDC, which controls that. Okay, so when that uh, is is being brought out, like when they brought that Ebola out, where the fuck Ebola at now, man? Yeah, right. You hey, know? Not only Ebola, but, man, you like, I grew up in an era where kids was getting shit called chickenpox. Yeah. You don't even hear that no more, you know? Showing you that, hey, they control these diseases, you know, center of disease creation, so to speak. Because you know, they create them. They all got back now, Yeah. You know? And, and, and you get that shit in order to get the cure, you're gonna have to go to the so called white man who made the shit and he got that going away. Yeah. <laughs> but you got it up. Uh, uh, verse 5 uh, Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Many may, um, a slot. may any man drive away the hung, a hungry lion in the woods. And we were talking about that. You know, you're gonna have animals out here, man. Okay, different wild beasts, man. Yeah. Okay, like like out here in Baltimore, I don't know if that that one little line that they got up in there that looked long. <laughs> you ready to put the death? <laughs> hey, that nigga. Hey, but but I heard like a couple years ago that it was a line that was roaming the it streets. Was. It's been a line that was roaming the streets of West Baltimore, man. People it, like throughout the day, you just seen different snapshots of where he was and shit. Man. You know what was crazy? Um, I had a dream about that shit one night. I was on where we, the neighborhood we grew up in, and at the damn time he was running from City High School, man. Right. And that could very well happen. The scripture's saying, yeah. you know, in these neighborhoods, like in here in Baltimore, you got a lot of stray dogs, man. They gonna be hungry. Who do you think they gonna try to eat? Continuing on, though, it says, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble. Yeah, if I can say this, <laughs> because somebody could easily, easily when shit get real, man, just go in there and, and, and let them fucking lions loose, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They probably go in there and go try to feed them. The lions kills them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they just start walking through the door, man. Hey, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when the EMP hit, you know, a lot of those zoos electronically controlled to keep them in. Man, who knows? Man, they might be able to try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, gather them up so they can't get out. They end up killing them, like you said. The next thing you know, you got a whole zoo recently. Yeah. And hey, you already got wildebeest, the nigga woman. Yeah, the nigga woman. <laughs> you know, yeah. them lies. Yeah. Like, 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 you heard it across the river. You know, I can show you a wild thing. The, 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 the uh, lions and shit like to eat, you know, wildebeest and right. shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> but you got it out. God, let's say, uh, let me bring that back out. Many, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood. Or may anyone quench the and, and, and if I can say this too, because when it comes down to the uh, to lions, right? You know, when you go into the scriptures, there was men of the Lord that that actually killed lions. Rip them apart. <laughs> yeah. So you know, hey, you might have to be be somebody that had to fight a lion. And you know? just imagine these rag, regular peons, uh, people out here, see one of the men of the Lord uh, like really had to put a lion to death or something like, that, or put a group of people to death. Gone. You know, the spirit gonna be on us a little. I, I'm not making this doctrine, but the animals probably pretty much gonna know who we are, man. But your people gonna be running around here like, what the hell? They gonna see us all calm and collect, you know? Gone, gone. It says, uh, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it had begun to burn. that are 
are going to get shot, man. Okay, first off, all of these things that, that are about to come, the Lord is the one who's going to send them, man. Oh, hey, keep going on that. God, uh, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? The Lord sends everything, man, all these problems that are about to come, man. Okay, because America is going to be turned into an oven, okay, a, 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 a hot-ass oven, man, yeah, yeah. When, when this shit uh, get real, man. You know, so so at the end of the day, it's really going to be, you know, um, uh, you between you and Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. Right. You know, but at the end of the day, the scriptures also go into it, right? I'm going to get that, you know, before we uh, wrap it up about um, how the the what, what's going to happen for the elect because we're not going to have to. To, to, to really worry about anything if you really trusting in your heart by some y'all shop. You know? Um No, that's not it. No, uh keep going with that. Con, uh a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Now you Right now, a, a powerful <clears throat> thunderstorm come over your head, man, and you be scared as hell, man. Hey, but in that day, man, the Lord is going. Hey, the Lord is going to be. You, his his uh, chariots are going to be partaking in the destruction as well, man. God, you know? I got the scripture. Uh, Psalms one twenty-five and three. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Okay, when when the so-called white man starts killing our people. And you know, even start putting some of us to death, okay? It's not going to be going on for no years and years, right? Okay, it says, Lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity, you know, and, and that could be taken literally, man. You know, when the so called white man starts putting this chip out and making it mandatory, right? It's not going to be to the point where. Okay, it's years, and now we sit up here like, oh, man, I got to go take the check now. Right. So let me go ahead and go, you know, uh, put my hand out there, yeah. you know, and, and take the chip. It's going to be happening like that. Yeah. So you speed up the times for their life's sake. So imagine Done. the time how it's going to fill in. You know, things going to be happening just like that. Man. The chip, next thing you know, they cart people off the, chip, the camps. Hey, you, uh, go to your local uh, high school or go to Camden Yards. Baseball stadium or football stadium. You know, get on this. Like a lot of us live in areas where there's train tracks. Those train tracks are going to be used to cart you people off to uh, camps as well. Go on, go on. You got any more on that? Uh, no, that was. Uh, the Lord shall, verse 11, the Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up, and waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. Now, it just reminds me, yesterday I did a uh, video with a brother Cross about it. He just told him about the dream that he had, where the Lord sent him, his body, into the depths of the sea, and made an explosion and rose the levels of the water. You know, that description right here just reminded me of that. Okay, Esau is going to try to escape in the underwater, underground, and he's going to, you know, he's going to send, you know, his, he gonna, he's going to send... His arrows where places where Esau makes he's getting away. And it says, uh, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord, and before and before the glory of his power. Because you got you got uh fish, you know, in them waters, man. Yeah. You got flesh eating bacteria. <laughs> you know, all those things are, you know, for the Lord's sake, you know, to bring um uh judgment on uh People in here, man, in this this country, you know, like that second, that whole second address, man. Yeah. That's a that's a really really uh, juicy uh, chapter, man. You might have to do a video on just that alone, but then that yeah. that might be all day, man. Like yeah. how, how how juicy that is, I man. I'm the right to go to chapter fifteen and sixteen and, and Wisdom of Sodom and seventeen and make one of the best movies ever made. You know? Come on. Hey, but with that, man. You know, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and close it. You know, you got anything you want to say? or No, that was it. We, we pretty much uh, 
doing what we supposed to, what we commanded to do to warn the people so that we won't have to partake in these things that we bring up. Yeah. Even if we have to partake in it, you yeah. know, we still we still understand what 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 we have to do to get out, of, get it. out of it. Right. You know? Because the scripture say uh no temptation have taken you but such as common and man. These people right. won't have to go through it. Right. But they're not gonna understand who, wh why they're going through it. Right. We understand why because the something greater is coming along, you know, and, and that when when those things actually happen that Yahweh Shah is gonna gonna come and he's gonna deliver us. People want answers and solutions. Gonna be giving you the answers and solutions. Come, you know. But you know, with that, you know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and put some work in truth and sincerity. That's something that you should think about, man. That's right. You know, Salawam. Salawam.